Lucky Brick. Yep. Yeah. Finally, two cousins have come back to drinking. And today, in front of the million of two cousin drinking fans, two cousins are drinking Terramana tequila reposado. A light straw color, very light. Even for a reposado, that's pretty light. <laughs> hmm. But it's got this smell that the rock is distilling. Yes. Ooh, I'm getting that agave. That's mostly I'm getting a nice sweet agave. I'm getting a little orange. I'm getting less alcohol than I had anticipated. I agree with that. I'm getting just a hint of oak. Yeah, I'm just getting. I'm just sitting here enjoying this uh, sweet agave. I'll talk to you in a couple minutes. <laughs> Shall we finally have a sip? Sure. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, I'm getting some pepper on that finish. Oh, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> the only alcohol burn I'm getting is a purely positive peppery. It's still on my tongue. I like it. Greg? I feel it right behind it. my mustache. <laughs> Called your mouth. <laughs> You've gotten so so ensconced in your beard culture, you forgot the rest of your your body. We uh, mentioned that we're two cousins drinking. I'm JP. And it doesn't with, matter with... who you are. Oh, we are two cousins drinking. The most electrifying cousins in all of YouTube. <laughs> I'm JP. With me, as always, is the Zuckerberg robot known as Greg. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you're doing on Drink 3. Uh, I can see why the reviews on it were pretty mixed, because either you like that pepper or you don't. Oh, yeah. Terramana was released early 2020 by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Who? Do you know what the name Terramana means, Sir Greg, of the Zuckerberg robot clan? Mm -hmm. I did until you asked me, like of the earth, the love of the earth, or Terra earth. from Earth, Latin Terra meaning Earth, spirit of the earth, Mana, paying homage to his the rock's Polynesian heritage meaning spirit. It was released early 2020. Uh, I don't want to say the rock is responsible for all the horrible things that happened in the year 2020, but maybe, maybe he unleashed something. He released the spirit of the earth. And the spirit of the earth is angry. We've been messing with it so much. ABV, 40%, which I believe is fairly standard for tequila. Yep. You'll get too much uh, cask strength tequila out there. <laughs> it's, it's a horrible or an, an amazing night right, waiting to happen. <laughs> it's a well done tequila. I'm relieved. I was worried we would insult the rock. And in our next episode, we find out we get he pops up behind us and beats us up. Doesn't First you're like excited that he's calling you a jabroni, but then you're uh, <laughs> frightened when you see the people's elbow coming at you. The only jabroni here is blue. <laughs> Greg, what are your uh, numbers on this tequila so far? I'm enjoying it an 80. I'd like another an 80. I'm enjoying it a 90, hmm. and I want another a 90. It's kind of a rock and um, Don Knotts. <laughs> They're the same guy, right? Here's to drink one. Broody poo candy ass. I'm going to be more critical on drink two. Good luck. Ooh, there's a little bit of burn. It's a strange magical alcohol burn. It's not a. Yeah, it's like uh, it's peppery. Like it's said. not a painful thing. That alone, I would recommend buying this tequila. They know what they're doing. I still thoroughly enjoy the nose on Terramana Reposado. Celebrity tequilas are the hot thing right now. Very hot. Uh, would you like to discuss celebrity uh, alcohol? If somebody says a celebrity beverage, is, a new celebrity beverage is coming out, my initial reaction is to roll my eyes, but it, it really depends on the celebrity. Do you think that, that is, a, is this a smart person? Like The Rock, even if he didn't like tequila, he seems like he's an intelligent man who is responsible with his personal brand. 
Yeah. That I know he'll whatever product he's going to put out. I think he's going to do a good product. I think they mark as a celebrity beverage. They market him the proper amount, where it, he is part of the story, but it is not the rock tequila or the. Yeah. There we go. Smooth. Should we do the rest of our episodes as Ernie and Bert? Yes. Hey, Bert. Ernie, what are you talking about this tequila? <laughs> the peppery finish is quite unusual. Hello, <laughs> and welcome to Two Old Men Cosplaying Drinks. I may agree that it, there is something thin about it. It's great on the nose, that great peppery finish. If I went to someone's uh, house and they said, hey, you want a margarita or a shot of tequila? And I saw this, I would say, I Absolutely. Shall you give me your numbers for this tequila drink too? I'm still torn. I'm I'm gonna say I'm the same, ninety and ninety. Uh, I would say seventy-five and eighty. Uh oh! Shut your mouth and know your role, Blue. Zuckerberg, robot Greg, welcome to drink three. Jabroni John, welcome to drink three. Greg, that leads us into the most important question of this episode. Terramana Reposado Tequila, what kind of jabroni does this make you? This makes me kind of a swing dancing jabroni. <laughs> hmm. Somehow that makes sense. What kind of jabroni does it make you? <laughs> this just... <laughs> This makes me the uh, just hanging around at the bar at a swing dance uh, events, looking for those uh, swinger women. What Star Wars character would you recast with The Rock? You're the director. You've had three of these tequilas. You have to recast one person. You have to CGI The Rock in as one character. I want him to. I think I would make him Cassian Andor in Rogue One. Adult Anakin. That actually. Oh, actually. Actually, that might be the best. <laughs> <laughs> Episodes two and three, Anakin. Yes, Greg, that might actually be a genius idea. This might be the tequila talking, but you're a genius. What what one thing would you change about this to improve it, to make it more palatable to your taste buds? Oh yes, when you're tasting it, something up a little more uh, flavor in the oomph in the first sip. Greg, if you had to invent a wrestling move for The Rock called the Terramana, what would it be? I think he uh, scoops someone up from the earth and raises them and drops them. <laughs> Ooh. They're, they're lying down. He picks them up above his, from the ground all the way above his head, and then he drops them. What celebrity living there in fiction are you going to drink this with? Excluding The Rock. Okay. Kevin Hart. I'm just going to go with uh, his acting partner. Especially if The Rock is nowhere, I can ask him, does The Rock, does he smell like this? I, I suspect The Rock smells like this. Can hurt me like, <laughs> it does. It's magical. Give me your final numbers and your final thoughts. I'm enjoying an 85, and I want another an 80. I, I like it. I'm still tasting that peppery finish. I would say, yeah, if you like pepper. If you don't like, it's, it's a very black peppery yeah. finish. I'm in 80-80. I've gone up a little bit back to where I started from. I would gladly accept another glass of it. Perhaps two glasses yeah. of it. Uh, Last chance, Greg. What kind of jabroni are you right now? I am still a swing dancing jabroni. What kind of jabroni are you? <laughs> I still want to see... It doesn't matter what kind of jabroni you are! <laughs>